like it or not, as we get to, to, to May, when Parliament will be dissolved, conversation that has in a little bit died, again we erupt, the conversation around the eligibility of the incumbent to contest uh, the 12th, you know, uh, general elections, the 12th of August general elections. I don't know what your, your general view is about, you know, the eligibility of President Nungu to contest these elections. If you've noticed, I've veered away from talking about it. You know, I, I choose not to talk about it. All I can tell you is I've read the Constitution and it is very clear. But that, it's clear. Uh, um, the, the specific article talks about a person who has been uh, uh, twice sworn in as a president not being eligible to stand. And uh, uh, twice held office, that, that's the, 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 the wedding. And as far as I'm concerned, the only exception that is there in that clause is with regards to a sitting vice president who takes over. And the reason is very clear. A sitting vice president who finishes the term, I'll give you an example. If vice president, his honor, who was acting president, Guy Scott, was vice president when this constitution was there, he would not have gone to an election. He would have simply finished President Sutter's term. And the reason, uh, it's, he would have just finished the term. Because of that, the clause that deals with the vice president taking over says, if that person who just finishes the term without being elected serves for less than three years, it is not considered a term. It says nothing about a person who actually campaigns and wins and was never vice president. So that's all I can tell you, that the constitution is very clear as far as I've read it. As to the eligibility of the president, I think they are more eminent and uh, qualified but people. But I'm sure people can fit, 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 um, fit what you've said in the conversation of eligibility. Yeah, I think that, that's my position. I mean, the clause is very clear. The constitution is clear. A person who holds office, has twice held office, is not eligible to, uh, to contest the presidency again. And, uh, and the only exception is with regards to a vice president who finishes the term of a sitting president without going to an election. If that term, uh, if that pres uh, vice president's um, term was uh, less than uh, three years, they are eligible to contest. And that it's, I mean, the reason for that is self-evident. A vice president who finishes someone's term without ever going to give a manifesto to the people and asking for their election, has never presented themselves for election. He's, he or she is just finishing the term of the previous uh, president. And if it's less than three years, they are entitled to go and campaign and represent themselves. Yeah. Well, why do you think there's been a lot of misunderst misunderstandings in, try in trying to... I don't think there's been any misunderstanding. I think there's been politics, and that's why I don't want to be drawn into it. Council? I would like to thank you so much for having made time to appear on Sunday's edition of the assignment. Thank you so much, Andrew, for having me. All right, we end here. Thank you so much to my director and producer, Mabutapiri, for now. Good night, and God bless them.